Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I wanted to revisit the Kat Von D palette, The Shedding Light. I know I have talked a whole lot about it. I'm very impressed with it. I bought it twice. <laughs> I lost it the first time and so I bought it again. That's how much I liked it. So, um, in review, this is what the palette looks like. It's an all matte palette. It's got three palettes in one. It's got um, a neutral colors, a neutral set, a cool set, and a warm set. So I thought what I would do today is show the different sets, the warm, cool, and neutral on my eyes, uh, making them up different ways. The look that I have on right now, I will start with. I used the cool palette. And in all these, I believe, unless otherwise noted, I, I did three of them. Unless otherwise noted, I used the, the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation Bamboo Beige, uh, the Oil Free Formula. I used, uh, on today's and one other day's, the Rocketeur. I used the uh, Ilamasca Zyomatic. On today's and one other day's and let's see my same eyeliner which is the NARS Via Veneto uh, some mascara my lips except for the warm I think I used the Tom Ford over the Sp Max Spice lip liner putting the lip liner all over so um, the application technique is, <clears throat> excuse me, the application technique is the same on all, all three days. I use yeah. all four colors with every single look. I'm just going to do a demonstration of the look I have on today because the other looks, I did the same techniques and did it the same way. So I didn't want to be too repetitive. So this is the look. Let me show you up close. But anyway, uh, here is how I did the first look. Okay, I'm going to start out all over with the white shade right here. And these are all the cool ones in the middle. There's the white shade. And I'm using Kat, Kat Von D, the brush. The one that, her shade and light brush. Next, I'm going to go into this big shade right here and use that. And the crease in above is a transition color. And I'm going from lightest to darkest, so I can just go over and use the same brush again. This is the fat end. Next, I'm <clears throat> going to go in to take the sharper end and go in that same color, the light color, and go underneath my bottom lashes. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the brown right here, the, the darkest brown right here in the corner, and I'm going to go into the, you know, just your basic eye, into the outer, kind of the V, and into the crease. with that sharp one, the pencil brush, not the sharp one, the pencil, little pencil side. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the other side because I'm through with all my light colors and blend it. And then take a little bit and put over Put it underneath my um, bottom lashes and blend it into the previous color. Okay, then I'm going to go into the black color right here and use it as a liner. Just smudge it, not bring it out too far, just to do kind of at the base of my eyelashes. Use that little 
pencil brush the very tip of it. And I'll finish this with my Via Veneto, uh, NARS Via Veneto eyeliner and some mascara. Today's look is the one that I am most uncomfortable with because it is the warm palette. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what I did first. Uh, I've used, I used my shading light brush and uh, I put this color all over my lid, this color in the, on the brow bone. Uh, this color is a transition color and all the way underneath my lid. And then the darker brown right here, I put um, on the outer V in the crease and then on the outside of the, of underneath my, the outside of underneath my lashes. And so I'll zoom in and that's scary. So this is the warm look. Uh, I have on my Silk Cream Foundation Laura Mercier. I have on the Tom Ford lipstick with the Spice Liner underneath in the Nude Vanille. And the Spice Liner is by MAC. I've got on um, Coralista blush. So pretty. I thought with the warmer eyes I needed to put on a sort of a peachy color blush. And then over that I got this from Nisha, Sugar Puff and Fluff. And um, it's Autograph. It's a highlighter. This is my highlighter. It's by Autograph and it's the Pure Lux Powder Highlighter in Golden Rose. It's beautiful. So this is the Warm Palette. I am on my way to babysit, so I'm going to make this one brief. This is my neutral palette that I have. It's this section over here on the Kat Von D palette. So I used this um, on the brow bone, this on the lid. I used this one as a transition color right above in the crease and right above kind of made it into the little seven thing and I also used it most of the way over underneath my eye. Then I used this one in the middle in the outer V and smudged it up into my crease and kind of in my crease too. And on the outer third of underneath my lash line, lower lash line, and this I did, I don't know what I said, I think said lower lid, I meant underneath my lower lash line. <clears throat> And uh, so that is what I did. I will zoom you in so you can see what it looks like. And on the rest of my face, I have on my Laura Mercier Silk Cream or Silk Cream Oil Free Foundation. My color is Bamboo Beige. Uh, I have on the Rocketeur. I have on, um, let's see, Max Spice all over my lids. And on top of that for the lipstick, I have the Milani Nude Cream. It's number 26. So that is the Kat Von D neutral face. One more thing before I go that I wanted to mention. Uh, I think that YouTube has done some things where they've messed with Google Plus or something like that, but some of your comments that you leave comments for, I can't reply to anymore. <clears throat> Even people that I used to be able to reply to, I can't reply anymore. So if you don't see a reply, what I've done is I go to your discussion place, uh, discussion page and put the reply there because it's not even letting me do the, the plus or the at to add, add your name to it to, to reply to you that way. So I don't know if it's the Google settings or what, but I'm not trying to be rude. I just can't 
some of you I just can't reply there's no reply button to reply to you so uh, if that happens and you see there's no reply button then I've tried to reply it's your in, on your discussion page so that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week and weekend. And uh, love you all. I'm very grateful. Bye-bye.